What are some of the common, I guess, mistakes or things that uh, prospects do that really hinders their uh, opportunities, or hinders their potential chances of playing or making it in the league or playing professionally or going to play in the Philippines either through school or to the, P, uh, to the PBI League, uh, G League? Uh, paperwork. Paperwork. Uh, yes. Sometimes they, they no, lose track. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes they lose track of their paperwork and you know, I, I get it. You know, you, you're so, you know, a great athlete or a good athletes coming in. They're so focused on, you know, the task at hand, you know, every day, just getting my jump shot right, getting my body right. They forget about the tedious things. But that tedious thing is some, you know, I can't look at your jump shot without your passport. You know, it's, it's a waste <laughs> of my time. It's a waste of my time. You know, I need your passport first. I need to know you're Filipino. Then we'll go through the the necessary due diligence of where you're at in your game but usually that hinders a lot of there's a lot of players right now and when i post when when i screenshot i screenshotted you guys a while ago once i post this and all that, they're going to be like man you know what i could have been in the pba but my passport exactly my point that's why you should support philam nation that's why you should speak of philam nation because there's a lot of good basketball players that i came across that just didn't pan out because they couldn't even get in the tryout because they're not or, or they didn't even think about getting their paperwork. They thought they ate in a gong and they thought they ate rice and they <laughs> thought they ate, they watched TFC, they're Filipino. No, that's not, that doesn't make you Filipino. You better get your paperwork. Mm-hmm. Shout out to TFC. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Is there, I'll, is, I'll just, put that in there. <laughs> I just have to put in there. Uh, just, just curious. Are there any sports that are really in demand for athletes on the national level? Is there any like? Because um, I remember I was on the airplane with Marky actually going to the Philippines, and we saw a track coach, a track and field coach, and they were saying like, yeah. oh, they need a lot of runners and and stuff like that. Are there any specific athletics that are really in demand for Filipino talent right now, or? Is it just across the board? Oh, mm. to be honest with you, to, to be to be one a hundred co- complete one million with y'all, all athletes are needed. You know, we you need to elevate from sea game level to Olympic level. You mm. know what I'm saying? We need mm. to go from just dominating sea games to dominating Asian games. So we need to dominate Asian games now. You know, in all these sports. Uh, so, you know. Like I'm from I'm from LA, so USC USC has more gold medals than some countries combined. Some are gold medals than some countries combined. Just the school alone, all these all the athletes that come out of USC have more gold medals than probably all of Asia except China oh. in the summer games. Wow. Yeah. So if you're an athlete coming from like a USC or a D1 like that, and you're getting that type of training. And they're training you to become a gold. We need you here. We need you here. We need you here. We need to, we, your training, if you're a coach from there and you got that training from there and you want to you wanna ele- elevate or try to, you know, increase our level from here, the knowledge that we have, like what you said, like what Ingrid May said a while ago, it's all exposure. You know, if you're exposed to a bunch of gold medalists year in, year out, you're going to learn a few things. So we need that knowledge. If you're Filip- and especially if you're Filipino American, that knowledge alone sets you apart from twelve countries here in mm-hmm. Southeast Asia, because you're because you're 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 swimming with a gold medalist. You're training. You're running sprints with a gold medalist. You're doing things with, with that a person has won already. So obviously you're ahead of the you're ahead of the learning curve ASAP. So that in itself, we need everybody. Like, yo, if we could have Jordan Clarkson here on the Gilas team, we'll take him. You know, everybody, every, we need help. You know, we, we need help. And that's not, I'm not saying we need help like it's a cry like, oh, yeah, we're, 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 we're sorely lacking of that. No, no. Nah. If you have some exposure to the Olympics and, you're Filip- and you have Filipino heritage, yo, that's something that we need. I mean, who, who, who doesn't want that? You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't want to have 100 Filipinos in the Olympics? You know, our delegation in the Olympics were less than 20, right? Uh, our de- that's the delegation of the Philippines, or less than 25. So in a way, it's like but not more, to bring everyone on. 
So, you know, if our delegation in the Philipp- – if if you see the Olympics and then you see the Philippines, they call out the Philippines and then you see 100 people there, you'll be like, wow, okay, the Philippines is, is on the rise because it wasn't 100 people there recently. I mean, if you guys check the last Olympics – I don't want to. I don't want to give them the short end of the stick, but I don't want. I don't. I think it wasn't more than thirty-five. Okay, thirty-five. Mm-hmm. Let's just mm-hmm. say thirty-five. Mm-hmm. But if there was a hundred people in the delegation of Philippines delegation, yo, you'd be so happy, right? Mm-hmm. As a Filipino, you'd be like, "Wow, dang, okay, we look like Jamaica right now." <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, so, have that same I, energy for the Olympics as how we do for like this. No, Miss Universe with Miss Philippines representing, right? It's the yeah. same type of energy that we want to bring. It's along, the same right? that you know. Uh, to totally give them, to, like, like I said, like I don't want to. I don't want to say I'm reinventing the wheel. We're reinventing the wheel, Philam Nation. Philam Nation. We we are not invent, reinventing the pageant. The people from the pageant have been doing this for years. And guess what? How many pageants have we won? There you go. <laughs> there you go yeah. uh, we we went at the highest level we went at the highest level in the most prestigious crown miss universe i mean yo most of these most of most of these uh these these beautiful ladies they're not uh, they're mixed with something they're feel feel something you know yeah. they're feel something so they're doing it they've been doing it mm-hmm. and they've been successful mm-hmm. so why don't why can't we do it on this end and then that's just the that that's just like these are the these are the the conversations that me me and Coach Chris have in the war rooms that we have, the discussions that we have. That why can't we do it? Why can't like all these other entities are doing it? You know, Valenzuela does it. All these you know all these entities they do it. So I think I think we I think it's just right for us to 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 do something like this. And I'm not taking away anything from all the other competitors that we have. I wish we don't, I, I wish we don't compete. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wish we don't compete because I bet if we all consolidate our knowledge and if we all consolidate, you know, our, our differences, if we take away our differences and consolidate all our, all, all the stuff, all the positive stuff that we can bring to the table and the sky's the limit, but you know how that goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're nearing the end of our uh, end, end of this two part special, but I just want to. Ask, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just want to know your parting words. Your parting words. Your parting words. This is like a five part special. Get the, get the drinks out, man. He wants the party to go. Part three. Part three. All right. Do you have any parting words? We will, we'll get you in when you have a, a different jersey. And and, you know, maybe when you're in yeah, studio, yeah. Your uh, parting words party for party. any athlete or any people, any uh, kids or anyone that just wants to play. And also, what's next for you guys for Film Nation Select? What are your next steps, and what are you know what's coming for 2021? Uh, 2021. There's a lot of showcase coming up. Uh, I hope you guys stay tuned. Stay, you know, keep blowing up Co- Film Nation. All our social media outlets. Just keep sending us messages. We get to you guys. We get to you guys. I'm imp- I'm I'm reading your messages. I we, we get to you guys. You know, there's there's only you know, like I said, you know, we came from like literally two guys, and now we have uh, we have 20 guys working for us now. Thank you guys, all the all the people that are helping Film Nation. Thank you from the media aspect aspect shout out to them i know they they don't they're behind the scenes and they don't get no love i know they see a lot of my face and coach chris's face but there's a lot of guys sunny margate all those guys are working very extremely hard to to get you guys messages to get showcases to get you guys out to get your usbs and your terabytes out to these coaches so we have a we have something very special coming up for the draft it's going to be a it's going to, it's going to be a, a Phil Am, I don't know. I don't even know if I could say it. Cause you know, sometimes coach Chris would be like, you can't tell these people all these things, man. Yeah. Gotta shut up. Yeah. And so we have, I'm going to say it. Coach Chris is going to be mad at me, but we have this app coming out where you could just click and then you can see all these athletes. So we're going to sign up. For, we have this app. It's generating right now. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited for our pro day, which is, a bunch of agents and then we get 20 guys and then they just have 20 minutes to themselves that do drills. They don't, they show their, 
I know Marky Mark's looking at me like, I'm, I want to see their intangible. Yeah. Marky, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna see, you're gonna see, the, you're gonna see their tangibles first in the 20 minutes you see the tangibles. And then hopefully from there, we can see their intangibles. Mm. Um, for, and, and last but not least, thank you, uh, Pinoy Bounce, for having me. I know we had a conversation before, like two years ago when we were playing. Uh, you know what? You know there was oh, where a lot we of, met. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we where we met. Yeah, we were, yeah, where you interviewed. I'm sorry, I couldn't put that out there, but uh, thank you guys for always uh, keeping the communication lines and um, and thank you for having me. I know it's evening over there. I know you guys got to go. So, Marami Marami Salamat from Finland Nation from my side. And thank you guys so much for having me on your show. Any it was a, shout It's outs? a privilege. <laughs> you got any yeah, special shout outs? Yeah. Shout outs. Special, special shout outs to special you guys. Special someone shout out. <laughs> special, special someone shout out. Special shout out to you guys. Uh, you know, I was actually, um, I had talks with Seafood City and I don't know where it's at. I think it's Oakville. Is it Oakville? I had, I had yeah, talks it's with around, Seafood yeah, City. Yeah, it's around there, right? Western area. Western around area. there. Oh, yeah. But till the pandemic pandemic happened, it shut down. So um, I, I was supposed to be there for one of the Filipino uh, community things that had me going over there. And I was very excited. I was so excited to go there. And maybe I could sit in one of those seats with you guys. One but, day, yeah. Uh, we'll make, a, we'll make, we'll make an room. extra spot for you right here. <laughs> so, but, but other than that, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for all my Filipino uh, counterparts, even though we're competitors. Um, I'm, I'm definitely praying for all the, you know, like I said, you know, it's not about us. You know, if I wish we take away, we take out, you know, the, the, the pride that we have of getting somebody there and just say, Hey, you know, we're just here for you guys. And that's the vibe that I, I hopefully one day we all have as as all the, you know, there's a lot of organizations, you know, it's, it's not just Finland Nation. So hopefully all the organizations, we just, you know, come together and, you know, find a better way to get better athletes to the Philippines or better actors, better, not better, but like, you know, just get them out there as fast as possible. I'm not going to say better. There's a lot of great ath athletes and actors over here also. So. All right. Thank, thank you. you once again, Alex. For thank you time. so much, Alex. Uh, what can, what are some of the social media channels they should be watching? Uh, you know what? Just go click on Philam Nation and Philam Nation Select and hit that hit that follow button. Uh, I got a lot of I got a lot of just you know my account is just pretty much uh, it's a personal account. You know I just do a lot of funny things on it. It's not as it's not as serious. So if you guys want to just follow Philam Nation, catch him on TikTok. Catch yeah. him on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, yeah, catch you on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hmm. All right, thanks. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. There Thank you go. Thank you so much, Alex. <laughs> Bye, Direct. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And that's...